When I was at work not too long ago, in the morning I have to walk through my local shopping centre to get to the train station. In my local shopping centre is a massive tower block. In this tower block, it only houses the elderly, only houses pensioners. If you're a young person, or even if you're like 50 years old, you can't live there. So it's only for people who are retired. Walking through the local shopping centre, for some reason, although the cafe was technically closed at this time, because the lights are off, something told me, just look over to your left. So I looked over to my left now, looked into the cafe. The lights at the back of the cafe, they're on. The members of staff are in there and they're preparing their food. You know, in the front of the shop, it was pitch black. No lights are on. You know, there were some old people in there. There were some customers already in the, in the cafe. Now, maybe they might have had a power cut at the front, which is highly unlikely. You know, those... Old people probably go in there every single morning to get their breakfast. You see that there? That's not being me. You see them people there? They're the types of people, when they were younger, they had shit jobs. They probably worked in Sainsbury for 30 years. You see that there? That's not being me. I'm going to make sure I'm going to work hard and make sacrifices so that when I'm an old person... You know, God willing, I reach elderly age. Although I don't really want to, though. When I reach them ages there, I can relax and live a life of luxury. The worst thing you want is when you get to your old age pension, you're on a budget. Man, no old people, they're on a budget. Because when they were younger, they had crap jobs. They were working in administration. They didn't push themselves. So when they're elderly and they get their pension money a month time, they only earn 1,200. Now 1,200 is shit. You really need to limit yourself. Now this person, you know, they had a property and stuff like that, but their monthly income was 1,200. Yeah, cool. Your property's paid off for, you don't have to pay no mortgage money, but your gas, electricity, and all other bills don't stop. I would never want to be one of those people who are sitting in the cafe every morning. Yeah. In some dirty, greasy spoon cafe as well. So this is why in my young age, even if you're 40 as well, start taking risks. Start working hard. Do new things. You don't want to end up like them old people. If that was my future, if I had a crystal ball and I knew that was going to be me, what's the point? What's the point of having a shit end? Now, my mum works as a care assistant, works with the elderly people, and never really heard any horror stories from her out of her mouth to me. But one time, a family member's, let's say, fiance came to my house. So my mum and the family member's fiancé are both care assistants. So, I don't think I was at work these times as well. Came downstairs, no, I think I ironed my jeans, whatever, and I left the house. Now, just before I left the house, they were talking about all these horror stories about, you know, their work colleagues treating the old people bad and rough. So I left the house. I came back after 45 minutes, they were still talking about how their colleagues rough up the old people. And I was just thinking to myself, boy, that ain't gonna be me. That is not gonna be me. There was one time I saw a newspaper article. There's one young girl up in, you know, like North of England, County Durham and them places there. They sent her to prison for about four years. You know what this girl was doing? She was going to a care, the, the old person's house she cares for. She was going to the old person's house she cares for, and every day she would start withdrawing money out of the person's bank account. Yeah? She was doing this for a couple of years. Yeah? Not that much money. You know, she weren't maxing it out every day, 
But she was drawing money out every single day or at every opportunity, she was drawing out money. They caught her because another carer found the old person's bank statement. So another worker went to the house, found the old person's bank statement and probably was being nosy. And looked at the bank statement. I'm like, why is there so much withdrawals at such a high frequency in such a short space of time? Like who withdraws money every single day? Or who withdraws money, you know, five times a week? So they clocked on. The girl must have been going out there, withdrawing the money, obviously using the debit card as well and spending like crazy, probably ordering stuff online and that. And they caught her and they sent her to prison. Yeah. I'm not I'm not putting myself in the position to be one of them old people that get taken advantage of. Trust me, man, see them programs. Man, see them programs where people, they abuse old people. That ain't happening to me. That ain't happening to me. Another reason why I work hard as well. Because I don't want my children to suffer. I was in phone called a man yesterday. And he hit me up and said, yeah, boom. I like the way you spoke about in your video. I'll leave a link in the description below. I was talking about how ex old man was able to buy a property at 24. I'll leave a link in the description below. It was like, I like the fact that you was talking about when you was in school, you know, you had to pretty much fend for yourself. You had to buy a crisp and drinks and sell it because your mum couldn't really afford to give you pocket money. He said he was in the same boat. Yeah. I don't want my children to go through that kind of nonsense. I don't want my children to have to go to school or buy and sell crisp and drinks because they ain't got no money. Not because they're bad, but because their parent, me, can't afford to give them any money. Yeah. You know that man in school? There's man in school where their parents are on such a low income, their parents have the option. One out of two. Option one, you get free travel to school. Option two, free school meals. You either pick that or the other one. You either pick the free travel to school or free school meals. Well, obviously the youth, them have to go to school, innit? So, you know, the parent picked free travel. So the youth was going to school with no money in his pocket. No meals, you know. Yeah, he eat breakfast at home. He eat dinner at night time. But no meal during the day. Nothing to keep him going. Now, I don't know if the parent knew. Well, they must have known. How, how's the youth eating? But they must have just turned a blind eye to it. Yeah, if he ain't complaining, then boy, it is what it is. Maybe he's getting some food from his friend. How sad is that? How sad is it that a man, a little girl, could go to school and their parent can't even afford to pay for school meals? Imagine sending your child to school. If you're watching this right now, you have a kid. Whether they're a child or, you know, a young teenager in secondary school. Imagine sending them to school and they can't even eat. If you're a parent and you put your child in that position, only you are to blame. A lot of parents out here, they're lazy. Their children are struggling at school. Mashed up trainers, school shoes getting too small. Wearing the same school shirts from last year into the new year. Instead of the parents thinking, all right, boom, I'm going to work on the weekend because, you know, my child can't suffer because of my laziness. Parents will just relax at home. You know why a lot of children suffer because of their parents? You know, their parents are a lot, a lot of them are in credit card debt. A lot of them are in credit card debt. And so they're just trapped in the system. The trap system, and they don't want to work to get out of it. They're rather impressed. They're stupid friends. You probably chat shit about them behind their back as well. All to look good. People need to stop bowing down to this peer pressure thing. You know how many people out here are in some serious debt? All because they want to fit in with the people them around them. 
If you don't fit in with the people that are around you, don't try and impress them. Move on. Find new friends. If you've got friends around you and you feel like, God, there's man out here and girl out there, if you're not driving a certain particular car, they don't want to ramp with you. They don't want to flex with you. If you're with people and you feel like, right, if man lost this Mercedes and I had to drive a flipping Skoda, these men won't really want to flex with me. They're not your friends. You see my brethren? You think I give a damn what car they drive? You know, obviously my friend pull up outside my house in a Porsche. I'm like, yeah, you know, you're doing your thing. But if my friend pulls up in a 2002 Astra, I ain't going to not want to be his friend. It is what it is. I don't care. Like, I'm my friend's friend for who he is. I don't care if he fucking pulls up in a, a gypsy trailer. That's my friend. So, you know, the people that are around you, if they're really real, yeah? If you lose it, or if you got it, they're still your friend. My friends around me, whether they become millionaires or homeless, you know, well, if they become homeless, they need to strive to get themselves out of the homelessness, yeah? I don't care about what you've got. I want to see the effort you're putting in. But if, you know, if they become millionaires or they get into a stage where they're dirt poor for momentarily, whether it's a year or whatever, I'll still be their friend. As long as they're trying to get out of that situation. I want to see the effort. You're living out on the street, you're homeless or something like that. I want to see you cleaning toilets. Ah, oh, I've got too much pride. Got... Forget your pride. Yeah. I've told someone before as well. Clean toilets. Forget about your pride. I know someone who's in credit card debt. I said, boy, if you ain't getting the hours you want from these different places you work at, why don't you clean toilets on the side? Nah, 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 nah. Too much pride. Boy. I don't really care about my pride right now. Obviously, you can't disrespect me and take the piss out of me or, yeah, you can't fight me like that, that kind of pride. I've got pride like that. But in terms of, oh, boy, if it came down to it, I'll clean toilets. Because I know one day, I'm going to be sitting in a big mansion and I'll look back at that moment. But yeah, man grafted. Man set my pride aside. And now I've got this. Yeah. Ah. Back to the original point. I'm working hard now. Yeah. I'm getting my mind to work. I'm thinking outside the box now. So that when I'm older, I don't have to be like them people there in the tower block, waking up at 6.30 to get to the cafe for 6.50 when the shop is still technically flipping closed. To get their greasy spoon sausages and baked beans. Anyway. Stay wise.